Number three then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1. Just a wee two mark question this time for the circles. You're given the equation of this first circle, C1, in the expanded form, the general form. You're told the centre of the second circle. And you're told the radius of the second circle is equal to the radius of the first one. So what's the equation of this one? Well, to get the equation of a circle, you need two things. It's centre, got it. It's radius, it's hidden in here somewhere because it's got the same radius as this one. Only well, to find the radius of this one, you'll first have to get its centre. So, the centre of this circle would be the x and y terms. It's the opposite sign and half the numbers. So you've got half of that opposite sign is 3, half of that opposite sign is 1. The centre of that circle would have been at 3, 1. When you expanded it, you'd have got twice the product which would produce that. Which means its radius is found, you can use the formula at the front, but it really just boils down to the centre squared minus the constant at the end. The centre squared, and there's only two marks for the whole question. The centre squared would be the 3 squared, I'm just going to put the answer down, 9 plus the 1 squared, 1, minus the number at the end, which I know is a plus 26. Now that's 10 and 26 is 36. But then again, oh, I've done it now. So it's 6. The radius of that circle is 6. Now that would have been, I presume, just the first mark, and you had to do two things to get to that. Or maybe you didn't if you were using your F's and G's and identifying F, G and C from that. Second circle then, what's its equation? It's of the form x minus the x-coordinate squared, y minus the y-coordinate squared equals the radius squared. Well, it's x minus 4. It's y minus negative 2, so it'll be y plus 2. And radius squared, don't put 6 squared, it's 36. There. That's another two marks for you.